Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Grand Avenue Church of Christ in Lisa 619 North Grand Avenue in Sherman, Texas. Indeed, it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. The day in which the Lord God has made. Yes. And let us be glad, and I am happy, and rejoice, and rejoice in it. And so, uh, with that being said, we want to say to everyone that is visiting with us, you are our honored guest. Appreciate your presence uh, in the audience as well as viewing us virtually, uh, however, by whichever means, streaming or by whichever means you may be doing it. We're just glad that you chose to uh, worship with us this morning. We hope, trust, and pray uh, that in doing so, by your tuning in or just being present in this facility, that your desire on this Sunday morning uh, will be satisfied. Especially if it was the desire to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And we know that we're going to do that here at Grand Avenue. And by you being present with us, then you will be able to be a part and a partaker of that. With that being said, I know that there's been a lot of tragedies that have gone on in uh, our congregation amongst our sisters and brothers. Uh, ask that you keep these families in your prayers. I don't have all the names. I know that some... But to keep from offending anyone without, uh, without intention, I won't call out names, but I know of those who are in the audience who's lost loved ones, some buried loved ones even on yesterday. So let's keep all of our bereaved uh, family members and loved ones and friends in our, in our prayers in regards to that. Remember all of our sick and shut in, uh, those that have COVID and those that just have regular illnesses that are affecting them, but not only our loved ones, but their loved ones and friends and family and relatives. Uh, let's keep them in our prayers. Too. Just so We know that uh, the firm and effectual prayers of the righteous avail much, so let us do our part in making sure that we uh, send up those prayers and, and uh, supplications to our Lord, uh, to Almighty God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, and He'll take care of the rest. Amen? Amen. We have to believe and we have to have to trust in, in him. With that being said, uh, sit back, buckle up your, your spiritual seat belts, and get ready for that, uh, that ride on the old ship of Zion that one day will take us to glory. All we have to do is continue to be obedient to God's, to God's word. I'm going to ask at this time as we prepare to start our worship service that you would bow with me and go with me to the Lord and the Lord of prayer. Almighty God and righteous Heavenly Father, this morning we come humble before your throne of grace. Recognizing, Almighty God, that we laid down last night, but didn't until we woke up this morning realize that we would still be counted among the living. Oh, for that, Father, we're so thankful. We're so grateful, and on this day that has been allowed it to us, a day of worship that we give everything that we can back to you, we ask your Almighty God that you would just bless us to do so. Yes. Help us to be ever mindful that we don't have control really truly over anything but our souls. Yes. If we wanted to go to heaven, we have to do the things that are required. Yes. But the weather, the situations, the hatred, the anger, the animosity, all the different things we can't control. We can't let control us. So we ask your Father to give us that extra surge of strength and energy, patience and love, self-worth and endurance to weather the storm. The devil is strong and mighty, but he's not stronger and he's not mightier than you, God. Never has been, never will be. So we trust in you, God, to give us what it is that we stand in need of. Individually, as well as collectively. Be with us in this service that we render unto you this morning, that everything that we do be pleasing and acceptable in our sight. Forgive us of our shortcomings, those we know of, those we don't. I ask you to be with your man, servant, Brother Shaw, and every minister of the body of Christ that stands in the pulpit today. As they proclaim the gospel of truth, whatever their message may be, from whatever direction.
hearts and then choose to take it from in your word, that it will be profound enough to touch each and every heart that listens and that hears, every heart that obeys, every heart that needs to obey. We ask you, God, that you would allow that to happen on this day. God, keep and direct us as we go forward in the services that we render unto you here at this place, that we make a joyful noise unto you this morning, yes. singing, Heavenly Father, with the Spirit, and singing with the understanding. Though we may be just a little prohibited with the mask that people are wearing, let them sing as though they didn't have a mask on. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. This is our prayer in the name of your Son, our wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. Amen. I woke up this morning with my mind. You know that it's still on oh, Jesus. Yes, I woke up this morning.
morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. 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 So this morning, scripture reader is going to come from Joshua 24, 11 and 15. Joshua 24, 11 and 15. I'm going to need you to get your Bible still. There's some words in here that's a little hard to say. So, <laughs> so follow along with me. <laughs> and I'm, I'll be reading from the New Living Test translation. Again, it's Joshua 24, 11, and 15. If you had it, let us. When you crossed the Jordan River and came to Jericho, the men of Jericho fought against you, as did the Amorites, the Ananites, the Parasites, the Canaanites, the Canaanites, the <laughs> the, um, I can't say it. And the uh, Jezebits. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But I gave you victory over them. <laughs> and I sent you terror ahead of you to drive out the two, the two kings of Amorites. It was your swords, it was not your swords or bows that brought you victory. I gave you the land you had not worked on. I gave you the towns you do, you, that you did not build. The towns where, where, where you are now, the towns where you now are living. I gave you vineyards and olive groves for food, though you did not plant them. So fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the the Euphrates River <laughs> in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the God of God your ancestors served beyond the, the you? Or will it be the gods of Amorites in whose land you, you now live? But as far as me and my family, I will serve the Lord. Amen. What a 
mansion in heaven yes. that they will see. Yes. Father, yes. we thank you. Yes. And we thank you for being so good to us. Yes. Thank you for the food yes. you put on our table. Yes. We thank you for the clothes we have on our back, yes. shoes on our feet. Yes. Everything belongs to you. Yes. But yes. we got to know we can't serve that. We got to serve you. Yes. And be your child. We are your little children. Yes. You're the father and we the children. Yes. And we obey you. Yes. We look to you for everything. Yes. Father, without you, we are nothing. Yes. Be with us and guide us and protect us. Yes. And this will be my prayer. And I ask it all and let us all say, Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes.
After this song, the next voice that you'll be hearing will be that of Brother C.E. Shaw. There's a happy land of promise over in the great beyond where the Savior precious through the glory share. Where they're now, where the souls of men shall enter and live on forevermore. Sing and read. We'll be happy over there. And Lord, oh, you know now, everybody, they will be so. You know they will be so. Where, a book where they 
they say when they're sitting so that they can say it with us. Amen. It's just good to have those names. If, you, if you're a member here and you see the book and the person that's visiting with us are trying to keep up with us, pass that book on. Yes. So that they can enjoy the singing with us. God is always good. Yes, Amen. Yes, he is. Know that he's good to all. Amen. Good to all of us. Yes, sir. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Yes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all of his benefits. Right. Who forgiveth all of our iniquities. Isn't that something? Right. All of our iniquities. Who healeth all of our diseases. Right. What, what are we scared of? Well. He can heal all of our diseases. Right. Oh. Redeem us. That's right. The life from the life of destruction. Yes, yes. He must really love us. Yes, sir. Amen. He yes, must yes, really, yes, really yes. love us. And he <laughs> crowned us with kindness. Yes, yes. He knows how to make us feel good. Mm -hmm. yes. He knows that we need his help. He give us tender mercies. And yes. Not only that, but he's just a God that want us to know he's with us all the way. God is full of pure blessings. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we need. And singing like you did this morning, yes. all of you. Yeah. He picked some great songs. And I tell you what, Amen. they were the kind of songs that would make all of us feel good. Yeah. If it's, if yeah. it's yeah. needs to be brought down, bring it down. So well, I'm not talking about your song. I'm talking about everybody's <laughs> doing that. So <laughs> it, it may not be accurate right now. So you can do it with however you need to do it. We want everybody to be comfortable <clears throat> in this house. <clears throat> Let me ask the church to take time out. say something about it, Amen. but if I just ask the members of the church to tune it in and, and Amen. encourage him, encourage. it's always good to encourage a man yeah. when he does what he does. Thank you, Paul, for reading of the text. Amen. 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 I have a hard time sometimes myself. Amen. Sometimes I just skip them and go <laughs> on. But one thing for, for sure, we have people here that will help us. Amen. So today I want you to know why I'm using this subject. Choosing to serve God. Amen. Choosing to serve God. It's good to have a God that we can serve and he know we appreciate everything that he has done. Uh -huh. And the Bible says, he was reading, choose you today who you will serve. Uh -huh. And don't, don't, be, don't be putting it off until tomorrow. That's right. Don't put it off to next week. Uh -huh. Choose who you will serve. Let me ask this question. Do you remember when people were talking to us about becoming a member of the Lord's Church? Uh -huh. Most of them didn't want to hear it. Most, a lot of folks didn't want to hear it. Me, one. I, I was one that didn't really want to hear it. But uh, once I got in the church, I was so happy to hear God's truth. Amen. Amen. There are a lot of folks that they, they want to know and they want you to guide them through the truth. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are hoping that we can do today because there's a lot
lot of goodness coming from God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. When I think about choosing to serve God, I think about how many people I tried to hurt their feelings. That's right, I tried to hurt them. I didn't want them telling me. I was already in a church and I, I felt that I, I knew everything I needed to know. But then I started listening. And you know, my father-in-law said to me one time, if you read, it'll come to you that the Bible is right. And you are wrong. All right. And I, I look and I think about this often. I could have been dead in my grave. Uh -huh. And knowing for sure that where I would have gone, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be pleased with it today. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say what I would have gone, God has a day in which he's going to judge the world. Yeah. Yes, sir. And we have already, now I, I, I almost did this sermon today, and I'm going to do it soon, but the subject I was going to deal with, and I thought I'd better kind of tune you up for it before I started out on it. Hey! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look out for it. H-E-L-L. Say that. Uh -huh. Say that. Will be my subject. Mm -hmm. Hey! Uh -huh. And uh, most folks don't want to hear very much about hey. Mm -hmm. And they want to know a whole lot about heaven. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to work to get there. Well, all right. come on. So, hell is going to make a lot of us think it over twice. In hell, one man lifted up his eyes. That's as far I'm going with hell right now. That's as far as I'm going. Yes. But I do want you to know that we must all prepare ourselves to go to one place or the other. You can't go to both. Yeah. And that's what God wants us to do. And I hear him often saying in my mind, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you. Mm -hmm. Learn of me. Mm -hmm. For I'm meek and lowly in shall find rest unto your soul. Yes. I do want to say this. People are dying daily. Yes. Daily. Cousin was buried yesterday. And uh, I have so much of what they say watch out for. Mm. So I decided, I decided I couldn't go. Yes. And uh, it's just, I, that's, that's the second, that I had a nephew that went on out. He couldn't go to it. Mm -hmm. And I went to, and, and this is a true statement. The hospitals are trying to help us. But do you know there are folk, even some folk in the church, that will tell you they've been with somebody. Well. That's had COVID. Well, if you love your brothers and sisters in Christ, let them know. Amen. Six feet, a mask, temperature, that's not going to kill you. That's right. That's right. What's going to kill you is that you won't go get that. Right. Right. And I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. I'd like for you to be here a long time. Three score and ten is what he promised. But he keeps his promise. Why don't we keep ours? Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy Fire these things up soon, and you will be able to read the 
scriptures yourself. Right? Jot them down and go home and study it. Johnson always gives us time to look up the verses. And that's good. That tells me he wants you to know what he's talking about. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes, sir. And I'm asking brothers and sisters here and visitors to listen to the lesson. Listen to the lesson because they are worthy of hearing. Mm -hmm. So if we would listen to the lesson, we would find ourselves happy to be with God. Mm -hmm. And I mean that, happy. Choosing to serve God. Mm -hmm. Choosing to serve God. And what he is saying here is that there's nothing to fear in doing the work of God. There's nothing to fear because you want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. right. But if you don't want to go to heaven, you're going to wish <laughs> that you had made it to heaven. Well, I said it last Sunday, God said that if you don't want him, he looked down on the ground and said, of these stones, he can raise up sure. children sure. that will serve him. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. daddy, grandma, grandpa, help our children to come Man, to the knowledge of the truth. Man. I'm not going to be here long, but uh, my wife's uncle died this morning at 8. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I said 8, I don't know the exact time, but yeah. he died this morning. Yeah. And we're going to be leaving, going down to be with the family. Yes, sir. And I know one thing, if he died from old age, mm -hmm. he didn't have COVID, he died from uh. old 88 or 80 something, but that's a good, that's a good age. Yeah. Yeah. Last Sunday morning, we were preparing to come out the house, mm -hmm. we got a phone call. North Cephas, North Cut, most of us knew him from yes, here. Sir. His wife died last Sunday morning <laughs> as we was getting ready to leave. People are just leaving yes, sir. us. And so I say to us, watch out. Now, uh, today is Sister Ruby's sister's birthday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Today. <laughs> Next Sunday will be Sister Ruby's Amen. birthday. Amen. And it's a, it's a blessing to know Amen. that God has allowed many of us present so now, say that. to be alive. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. But he knows that we are shirking our responsibility. Amen. And I realize, I realize that there are a lot of folks that are not here because they can't come. Right, right. But I also realize that there are a lot of folks that are not here who have fallen <coughs> off into that slope of I'm, off. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go. I got used to staying at home. Mm -hmm. Come on. Be careful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The same man that controls life. Yes. Come on. Also controls so. death. Yes. So we have to we have to know that this is the way God wants. When He says to us, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all of these things, things you wishing for, things you hope that won't ever happen to you, will be added to you." And don't ever feel like you are too bad mm -hmm. to ask for God's help. That's right. right. That's right. He's not angry. Nope. He loves all of us. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. And if we if we really want somebody to talk to, learn to pray. Yes. Amen. Learn to pray. And when you pray, do some thinking. Him mm -hmm. for yes. what he has done. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Most of us got food in our house. Yes. Can you imagine the people that don't have anything to eat in their house? Right. 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 Our 
sitting watching the news the other day in a, a foreign country. They all want something to eat. In, in another country, they want water to drink. Yeah. In another area, they're drinking out of muddy streams. Oh, let me just tell you something. You better thank your God that you are serving that he has water for us to drink. And we need to thank him for it. We need to thank him for it. To our visitors, I say thank you. Thank you. Y'all look mighty good. Look mighty, mighty good. And I just want you to know we love you at this place. We would just love for you to just keep on coming now. You said, I thought you weren't going to be here long. Well, let me get started. And I guess I can get you to where I want you to be. But one thing for sure, we have some good teachers here. And we want every one of our teachers to know how much we appreciate everything that they have done to help us to become strong. Amen. I said to a brother this morning, he said, you, you feeling all right? I said, I feel pretty good. I haven't felt too good all night. Are you sure? And I looked up and I said to another brother, I said, you going to preach this morning? He said, I can. Hey, did you hear that? I can. That's a good voice to hear. Because that's all God want any of us to do. Is to share the word with the word. When I thought about Choosing to serve the Lord. There are folk that will not choose to serve the Lord. There are some members of the church that will not choose to study the Lord's word. But there are some who are getting excited about studying God's word. And seeing how, how happy they are to get more out of God's word. Paul says in Philippians chapter 4. And verse 19, God has promised to supply all of our needs. All of, them, of our needs. Philippians 4, 19. Needs to know that there's things that he would give to us that we never would have dreamed we'd have got. But I thank God. My second point is, but it's a free will matter. To serve the Lord. He's not going to twist your arm. He's not going to shove you into service. Right. He's not going to say, if you don't come, that, that's a threat. He won't do that. Nope. The decision has to be ours. Amen. Yours and mine. And once we find what God wants us to do, we ought to thank Him, thank Him, thank Him, because He's doing a great job. Yep. There are churches you can go to this morning that would not give you the truth. They can't preach what we preach. I'm going to say it again. There are a lot of churches in this town that cannot preach what we preach. Well, Why? Because they won't be preaching there anymore. That's right. But I'm saying to us, we ought to love them like God loved us. In Acts 2 and verse 21, but everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everyone who calls. Now that, that's, I got to justify that because I, I don't want you thinking, hey God, you hear me? <laughs> yes. But if he talked back to us like we trying to talk to him, we wouldn't be standing in the same spot. It's right that we were standing when we hollered, hey, here I am. He see you, he hear you, and he know what you want before you ask. That's a God that loves his children. And so I'm saying to us that we need to know that whenever God calls us, you ought to be ready already because he doesn't scare you to make you get into church. He'll hold your hand and guide you to the truth. 
Then he sent the Spirit to guide us into all truth. And the Holy Spirit. And there, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There are some folk that don't believe that he's, he's so willing to do what we need to do. But he is always there waiting on you and I. When you call on him, if you're living right, he will answer you. And he will give you what you need. If you've been deceived, don't get angry at folk. Sometimes we did it ourselves mm -hmm. because we don't study. Sometimes we think that we know everything. There are not any preachers that know everything. The one that did know died for us. Right. Hanged on the cross. Was beaten and spat on. And yet, he cared enough for us to take us in. We need to be careful and always know that you need to prove yourself to God. He has proven himself to us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. And he wants us to live with him. He has gone as far as to make a mansion for us. Mm -hmm. He wants us there. And can't nobody take you from God. You have to give yourself up All right. to the devil. All right. I'm just saying this because I, I, don't want, I don't want anybody. You hear me often saying, uh, we went to a funeral just the other week. And I was in there and I looked. And I have never seen for an older person to be led across the front. And all of those young folk, it was a building filled with young folk. All right. And I said, I better take advantage of this because one man came by and said, I appreciate you saying that to me. As I said to everybody, he said, I know it. And my kids said, I don't want to die and go to hell. Isn't that something to think about? Something to think about. They don't want to die and go there. They know about it. They know about it. But they want mom and daddy. Most children want their parents to teach them. Right. That's right. right. They want to know and they want you to know that they know. That's what I'm saying. We got a job. We got a big job to do. And all we need to do is to get busy. Take that Bible study. Look for it. And you'll find in that Bible, God has a whole lot that he wants to You see, we want to see God, but then there are some that don't want to see God. That's right. We want to see him, but there are others that do not want to see him. No man has seen God at any time save his own son. No man. God said you can't look at me and live. That's one reason you know you want to be right when you do get to look at God. You don't want to be falling all out and thing, throwing yourself down. You know the Bible talks about the rich man going to be running to the rocks and the mountain, crying out, fall on us and fight us, hide us from the wrath of him that set it on the throne. It's coming. Don't think he lies. It's coming. Mm -hmm. And most of us need to be ready when he comes. He's going to help us to know for sure this is God. He wants us to know, I am the God that you need to be serving today. Don't put it off for tomorrow. You need to serve him today. Then you need to talk about him to people. Don't be ashamed. If you are ashamed of what? Of me. I will be ashamed of you before my Father, which is in heaven. You don't want to wait around and not take it. Take advantage of knowing that you made mistakes. God knows every mistake that you made. You know everybody that you have had something harsh to say to. But I'm saying to us today, he did not to get you back. 
He wants to get you in heaven where that we can live there forever and forever. And I see in 1 John chapter 4. And look at this verse, y'all, if you don't mind. 1 John chapter 4. We're going to start at verse number 9. And if you don't mind, I want you to read it. And, and when I say hold up, I want you to hold up. And there's something I want you to see in this verse. All right? To see. 1 John 4, starting at verse number 9. Watch this. And this was manifested to love the love of God toward us. And this was manifested the love of God toward us. Because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world. This is one reason that we need to understand what he is doing. Say that again. Watch this. Because that God sent his only begotten son God into the world. God sent his only child. How many of y'all got children and got just only one? You wouldn't give him up. You wouldn't give that child up for nothing. But God gave his only begotten son to die for us. After all the sinning that we have done in our lives, good or bad, all the sinning, God wants us to know. He sent his, excuse me, he sent his son to die for us. I'm saying, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a, a unique thing that we need to know that God sent his only begotten son into a sinful world. And you know something? Some folks love sin more than they love the Lord. Watch yourself. You pay for it. And then he said, watch it. That we might live through him. Oh, my goodness. That we might live through him. Then he says, Herein is love. Herein is love. Not that we love God. Not that we love God. But that he loved us. But that he loved us. And sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. I'm willing to take the blame. And I'm willing to die in your stead. So that you can straighten up. Do what's right. God gave up his son. And gave him up to take a beating for you and I. Gave him up that he might be able to stand in your behalf. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Because I know a lot of the things that I did when I was younger, I wanted to do it. A lot of things that I did when I was in school, I wanted to hurt somebody. But I'm telling you something, that is not what God intended me to do. But I get away with it. I get away with it. I think. Right. A lot of these days, right. we're going to stand before God at the judgment. And we're going to say, when did I do this? Don't question God. Question yourself. Why did you do that? Knowing that we must give up our lives so that the world would know <coughs> that God has done a lot for us. Remember now, remember, all you have to do is to say, God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. All you have to do is to say, God, I didn't. I, I really wasn't thinking about all that I did. Every person in this building right now, hear me, have seen and come short of the glory of God. Everybody here, leave those kids alone, not them. And don't, don't, even, don't even put this on you. 
Father shall not bear the iniquities of the Son. Right. Ezekiel 18. Now the Son bears the iniquities of the Father. But the soul, every one of us in here has a soul. Yes. That sin, it shall die. Mm -hmm. Mercy. The soul that sin will die. That's your sin, my sin, and everybody's sin in here. But think about it. And some of us have forgot all the things that we did when we were young. But guess who did? God knows. God so loved the world that he gave, I just quoted, his only begotten son to die for you and me. And here we are. Church, think about it. Think about it. Night's coming. He said we need to work while it is day. For night coming to let no man can work. Don't ever think you're going to get away. Never people are having hard times. Hard times. Jobs are closing on some folk. Hours of being cut on some folk. But then I want us to know the God we serve have already told us, don't worry about it. I get you another job. I get you one. But what do you do to help us? Children, children want parents to show them the way. There are parents who want children to tell them what they got in church today. But we need to share this message with other people. Some folks don't love you. You're supposed to love your enemy. Isn't that so? It's quiet in here this morning. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to love your enemy. Amen. Love true that. True that. As a matter of fact, 
we in the Lord's church should not be making enemies. Amen. 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 We in the Lord's church should be willing to share the message of God with other people. And it's nothing to argue about. Nothing to argue about. But I tell you what. When the day comes for us to have to stand before God at the church, how do you think you're going to feel? I don't think any of us that lives right right to fear, having to stand before God. Amen. I really don't believe we have that right. And yet, we forget who controls this world. We do. Well. I've thought about this many a time. Many a time. God expects of all of us. I'll ask God to help me to live right. Tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, B.B. Gatson will be on the air teaching from the book of Psalms, doing an outstanding job. Tomorrow morning, about 9 Brother Williams in Austin, Texas will be speaking the word from the Bible. Just there's so much that we can do. Yes, there are some folk that want God to give them everything they like to have. Mm -hmm. I was watching the news and I saw somebody's car in that garage see that news where there was a car in the garage and it burned the house down. Didn't nobody start it. They just didn't know that the house was burning. But I'm saying to all of us, not only will your house burn, but you're going to burn at the judgment. Be good to God. Remember, remember, it's a blessing that we are here today. Look around. Look around. People are coming back to the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's great. But all we have to do is to live the life. All we have to do is say, hey, have you ever visited the Church of Christ? Now, I used to go to the Church of Christ when I was little. Mm -hmm. And that's the conversation you get today. But I do want us to know. I do want us to know. People that were something else one time are happy to be in the Lord's Church. Amen. Here's one. Here's one. And I thought I was going to heaven. I really thought that. Until somebody said, you know what? You can't talk to people about their religion and they don't get angry. Why? Why do you get angry? People say things about the Church of Christ. And I'll say, I haven't heard anybody in the Church of Christ say something like that. Go to the barber shop. If you really want to learn something, go to the barber shop. <laughs> They can talk about all the drugs they once did, and all the drinking they once did, and then all of a sudden, they're on their way to heaven. Had a guy tell me one time that his son was a musician, and he just didn't go to church. I wasn't at the funeral, but many folks said, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you believe that a person's son who didn't go to church and go to heaven, I said, you're trying to make me give you something to think.
fight somebody else with. I don't, I don't try to help you get into stuff like that. I, I, I tell you what I will do. I sit down and talk to you. Talk to folk. Talk to them. Let them know you love them. You know what? North Cut and I was so close. And we used to visit each other. We had Bible classes every week that we would just go visit. Visit. We don't do that anymore. And there's a reason. I know there's a reason because you don't know where I have been. I don't know where you have been. But one thing for sure, the doctors are telling us to watch where we go. Amen. Clean your hand. Wash your hand. Do this and do that. And somebody else is saying, I just don't believe it's going to happen to me. I don't believe it's going to happen to me. We will all get an opportunity to see whether or not it's going to happen to us. We'll all get to see. Those folks that are saying, no, I'm not going to take the COVID shot. I, I, I'm not. I just, I think it's a hoax. Pneumonia. That's right, flu. Diphtheria, a lot of folk have had to take shots for stuff like that. And all of a sudden they're scared to take this one that can save their life. What are you thinking about? Keep doing like you're doing and God can take care of you. Because he, he, can, he can just speak the word. And you can come down with this cold. Live right now. Live right now. In other words, don't do all that that you shouldn't be doing now. To straighten your life up. So that when you come to die, you will not be afraid. But you'll be ready to go. If you love the Lord, Love the Lord. Prove it. Prove it. What do you mean prove it? Show him you love him. He showed us. Go back in your own life. Don't look down this aisle where you're seated at everybody else. I don't know what this she do. It's not your business. But know for sure you take care of your own. here and you have been shirking your responsibility. Get it right. The church of Christ is the church of Christ in every city. If you've done wrong, you can get it right here, you can get it right in another town. But know for sure, get it right. And ask God to give you strength. Jesus said to the disciples, they that call on the Lord shall be saved. And that's not like just saying, hey, Justin. That's not like, that's not the way we do it. Brother Vaughn, that's not the way it's going to be done. Help me to grow stronger each day. Time for me to stop is now. You've heard God's word. I've tried to be as careful as I can to make sure that you know there's somebody else in control. It's not the preacher, it's not an elder, it's not a deacon, it's your, not your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. We got to stand before God at the judgment. You've heard his word. Believe it. Believe it. Repent of sinning. Repent. Ask for forgiveness. Make that noble confession that Jesus Christ is God's begotten.
God and Son. And then you demand baptism. I want to have my sins washed away. Isn't that something? Just that easy. Just that easy. When I was baptized, when I was baptized, I felt so good coming up out that water. And I wanted so bad for her to know that I was in the church. If you need Christ, come. Right now, you sing. There's a fountain free. Is for you and me. Let us haste, oh haste, to the ring. There is a fount of love from the source of love, and He bids us all freely drink. Now, will you?
have prayer requests and who have heavy hearts and who have come short. I'm going to start from my left. You're right. Sister, you're living proof of that, right? yes, it So you just keep holding on to his unchanging hand. Sister. Um, I want to first thank everybody who's been praying for me. I'm um, asking that you all continue to pray for my health. Went back to the hospital this week and got another diagnosis. So I'm asking that you all pray for me um, physically, um, mentally, and emotionally as well, and spiritually. Because um, it's, it's been a tough week. Sister Shaw. I just want to ask the church uh, to pray for the Reddy family. My dad's uh, last sibling that is living on this earth passed away, and I had mentioned to you all earlier mm -hmm. he was so ill. Uh, he died of old age, of course, and a few other sicknesses. But pray for that family. Uh, they were none of them were members of the Lord's church. Uh, they just they never believed anything that I said about the church. They thought they had it all right. Well, he passed away this morning, so I ask you to pray for him and also to pray uh, pray for me. Uh, we're gonna try and go and and visit with with uh, his wife. He does have a wife as well, and to be with her. Before all of the family and everybody come come in, so pray for us, you know, in that effort. But pray for that family that uh, some of them will 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 see the truth, the truth and understand the truth before it's too late. Because it's a sad thing to have to say that none in the family so far that you know has ever obeyed the gospel or truly uh, understand. It. It's really sad. I know how it feels. Uh, Sister Judy. Um, I ask the church to pray for me. I, mean, I got this headache coming back like I had before. And I asked y'all to pray for me. And then still pray for women. She did lost her grandmother. So continue to pray for that whole family. Amen. But uh, just keep me in your prayer. Amen. 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 Right. Yes. Uh, I'm asking that uh, I, I did ask you all to pray for my little nephew, uh, Gregory, and his wife. Uh, I'm asking that you all continue to pray for them. They're still in the hospital, both of them. Uh, just continue to keep them in your prayers. That's Darren Hester's brother. Uh, asking you to continue to pray for them. Uh, also, I'm asking you all to pray for John Potts, my friend in Birmingham. He will be having a procedure on Friday. Uh, just pray that things will work out for him because he's been ill for a little while. So keep the pots in your prayers as well. Also, uh, I'm asking you all to pray for Nelvon. Uh, he had to 
run in for a, a day to a storage. So he asked that you all uh, keep him in prayer as he traveled back to Florida. Uh, also, I'm asking that you all keep uh, my granddaughter, Leanna, in your prayers. Uh, you all know that she's uh, been in the Army for six years, and she is all, uh, out right now. She's, she got out at the end of uh, a few days ago, but she will be permanently out in November, but she and her husband will be moving to Utah, so they both have jobs there. So keep them in prayers as they move forward to this phase of their life. Uh, just asking you to pray for her, she and her husband. So just keep them all in prayers. Also, keep my family in your prayers uh, as I talk to them about coming back to church. So just keep them in your prayers that they will come back before it's ever too late. Thank you. Sister Douglas. in the hospital, but she, she got out the next day, so just keep her, keep her in prayers for strength. And also, Wendy's grandmother is also our grandmother. So just keep the uh, whole family in prayers. And also, for my niece, Tina Gable, uh, where she was supposed to go to the hospital on this morning. And also, Tyrone Dunn, I keep her in prayers as well. Amen. Sister Amy. To, uh, first of all, thank you guys for playing for this son. He's, he's doing a lot better now. He's, he's actually doing, doing some recovering now. He was just there uh, without any type of uh, physical therapy or even proper medication. So uh, pray for him and pray for Wilson Jones that they get better too. Uh, but he's not out of the woods. I mean, he's, he's doing better, but... Uh, he still needs your prayers, so please continue to keep him in your prayers as well. Now, each and every one that asked, God already heard you. So I'm not going to try to address every one, because from your mouth to his ear, he already knows. But I will try to cover everything that was asked. Amen? Amen. Amen. Bow with me, please. Um, Let us pray. Dear kind and merciful Heavenly Father, we come bowed as humbly as we know how, Father, with thanksgiving in our heart and praise in our, bread, in our songs. We thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. Father, we come at this time for those who recognize they have come short of your glory. Father, we just ask that you blot it out and hold it against them no longer. Strengthen them where they're weak and build them up where they're torn down. Father, give them the courage to move forward and not look back at whatever it was that caused them to come short. Father, we know that we all try to do our best, but sometimes we, we just don't make it there, Father. But we thank you for being gracious and merciful, for watching over us and allowing us to make those things correct. Father, we ask that you be with those who are have loved ones who are sick and shut in. Amen. Father, we just ask that you be with them and comfort them and strengthen them. Restore them to their normal portion of health, Father. We ask that all things be done according to your will. Amen. And we give thanks to you and praise you in all things. Amen. Dear God, we ask that you be with those who have lost loved ones. Amen. Father, we know that there's there's no void like the loss of loved ones. Father, but we know that you can fill every crevice. We know that you can blot out all the pain 
with your goodness. We thank you. We ask at this time that you give them the, the faith to just keep trusting in you. Even though the loved one is gone, the life that they live is still in their hearts. Help them to hold on to those things that they know that were right. And for those things that they know that were wrong, Father, we just ask that you help them to look to you and pray to you. That those things, whatever they were, they will be removed from their heart. Father, we ask that you just be with those who are having the, the, the pressures of, of loved ones who are not in the Lord. Father, we ask that you be with them and, and to help them to come to the knowledge of the truth. Father, we know that you're not going to make anyone accept your truth. But we ask that you prick them in their hearts, that they might see the truth and act accordingly. That there be someone there to show them the way. Father, sometimes they don't listen to loved ones, but we know that you always have a ram in the bush. We ask that you help them to come to know you as they should, according to their salvation. Father, we just ask that you be with those who have friends who are sick, who need your care. Father, we know the doctors, they have the, the skills, but they don't have the power. We know that you have all power, Father. Whatever that they do, we know that you can fix it. So we're calling on you at this time, Father, that you be with them. Be with this congregation as a whole. Bless each and every one of us, individually as well as collectively. Because you know what we all stand in need of. You know better than we do. So we just ask that you care for your children as they stand in need. Father, because we're all in need. And without you, we are nothing. Without you, we can accomplish nothing. Without you, we can not obtain the joy that comes from knowing you. Father, we say these things and we believe them in our hearts. At this time, we submit them before the throne of grace and mercy. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto thee, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen. service for uh, communion, and as Jesus said in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 25, to do this in remembrance of him, so let our hearts and minds go back to Calvary at this time. I will be reading to you from Matthew chapter 26. Verse 26 through 29 in the King James Version. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. 
Let's go to our Father in prayer. Good and gracious and almighty Father in heaven. Father, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, coming to earth, Father, in the flesh, dying on the cross, Father, at Calvary for the remission of our sin. That one day, Father, we may see you in the heavens above. Yes, Father God, at this time, we ask you to bless this bread, which represents the broken and beaten body of Jesus Christ. We also, Father, ask you to bless the cup, the fruit of the vine, yes, which represents the blood that Jesus Christ shed for us all at Calvary. These prayers I pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now it's time for our offering, and I will be reading to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verses 1 and 2, now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given orders to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as God has prospered him, that there be no when I come. Let's once again go to our Father in prayer. Father God, as we humble ourselves once again before you, we give thanks, Father, to you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us each and every day. Father, you do so much for us, Father, to where we can provide for our families. You give us income, Father, in so many different ways. And Father, at this time, we're giving back a portion. And we ask you, Father God, to bless this offering. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Visitors, your honor guests. Any visitors want to stand up and say anything? You're more than welcome. safe passage there and back. Heavenly Father, take this message all this week and uh, apply it to our lives. Heavenly Father, love one another and understand one another. Heavenly Father, just bless us all this week. In Jesus Christ's name.
Yeah.